Hi folks, this is Kevin from Space Cadets, my very new and very untested adventure. Um, I had a little video, I wanted to talk about my experiences using OneDrive and Microsoft 365 across Macs and PCs. Um, so this video is a little explainer, just wanted to provide some context before we jump on in. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Have a good one. I'm going to bring up a uh, finder here and just kind of walk you through a little bit of what the process looks like of using OneDrive. And so far, I've been impressed. OneDrive is great, right? I can access my entire OneDrive infrastructure in Finder um, and use it in a manner that's entirely analogous to what I was used to on my Windows PC. And the great thing is it becomes this immediate and straightforward and easy way to move files between you know, your two systems, right? Everything you put in there is gonna always be available when you're jumping onto your Windows computer and vice versa. It's always gonna be available on the Mac side of things when you log in. So that's been great, I love it. Well, let's talk about um, specifically OneDrive. So, you know, you can choose different ways to look at this information, how you wanna group it and all that kind of stuff. I won't get in too much into just how this plays out with, um, you know, the actual navigation. Most everything is there, right? I keep most of my things in my documents folder. It's easy to see what's here. It's easy to see most things, right, are currently kept in the cloud. I'm not actually storing them, but you know, anything I want to, right, I can immediately set up anything I want to keep on this uh, computer. I can say always keep on this device. It'll make certain it's going to download that from the cloud so it's accessible offline. Um, so it's an easy way to make certain if there are key documents that you want to ensure you can access when you don't have Wi-Fi, when you're not connected to the internet or just to simplify and expedite the process of manipulating and working with those files, right? Or just having them on hand, you can click this, it'll drop it in and you're ready to go. But there's one key piece, one functionality that I really loved about OneDrive that it brought together, um, a function that Microsoft had that I thought was a nice addition to the OneDrive functionality, and that is specifically their personal vault. Wow. This is the one thing, at least based on my early testing, that seems to be a very clear and obvious, just does not map over from what we see in Windows. So, And so if I go back here, you can see I'm in my base OneDrive folder. I cannot see my personal vault. And that is a source of frustration for me because I use that. It's where I keep my tax returns. It's where I keep photos, passports, things like that. All the kind of stuff the personal vault is designed for. Um, and it always works well. For those that aren't familiar, personal vault is a extra secure section of OneDrive specifically set up where um, it's got a really, really robust encryption that's applied to it, but it also is set up where by default it requires a much more robust level of authentication to access it. So every time I access my personal vault, I have to actually use, uh, I've set it up to use the uh, Microsoft Authenticator app on my iPhone. It uses Face ID to log me in, and that's the mechanism that I say, hey, when I click on that drive, I always have to take that extra step. And you know, the flip side of that being, anyone else who tries, who maybe is at my computer, somehow has gotten access to my OneDrive or my Microsoft account, they're logging in from a website, whatever it may be, they cannot get into that location. However, when you're on Mac, you cannot see it. It doesn't exist in the Finder view. It does not exist locally. There is a workaround. I'm gonna show you that real quick but it is, it's a workaround and it's clunky and it's awkward and it's really not uh, an ideal way to do it, but you can set it up so that you can address this and that's by using OneDrive on the web. You can access your personal vault. So here you can see it, you know, let me just bring up my finder again, just so you can kind of uh, get what I'm referring to here. You know, here's all the folders right up here on the OneDrive on the web. You know, I hit OneNote upload, OneNote uploads, on the Finder, next one's Pictures. Personal Vault doesn't show up, but it does show up in the web interface. When you're in Windows, it's directly in File Explorer. It's really easy to access. Still has that two-factor authentication, but this is the one little wrinkle for me. Now, if I click it and I wanna access it, you'll see this is what the process looks like to actually get the, uh, uh, the approval process. So I can sign in. This is my uh, OneNote, uh, excuse me, my Microsoft Authenticator. I'm gonna tap the number that's up on the screen. It does Face ID for me. And you'll notice, right, Face ID, immediately I now can jump into my personal vault, right? So I keep kids and myself, my wife, you know, some of our, our key documents here. Not exactly the most exciting stuff, but it's a great place to have a little bit of extra security. And that is my frustration, right? Not being able to actually access OneDrive natively within the Mac. It's obnoxious. That said, 
there's a pretty basic workaround, right? It's not a major deal breaker. It's just a little minor break in your workflow. Um, so I want to talk through that, just give everyone a sense of that sort of issue. I will say outside of that, pretty easy so far on the Mac. Download Outlook, download Word, download PowerPoint, Excel, all that comes through the Mac App Store, really easy to get it on board, all right? So I keep everything on the dock over here on the left. Um, and so I've got my little collection of Microsoft uh, items here, right? All the stuff that I want to be able to use. Teams was weird. I couldn't actually get that through the App Store. So just an FYI, that was a situation where I did have to go. Um, you can kind of see, you know, if I bring up the App Store here, uh, you can find most everything, right? Excel immediately pops up. But for some reason, Teams does not show up in the App Store, not the iPhone or uh, iPad apps either. You do have to download that from the web, so just an FYI. But outside of it, once you have it here, it functions just like everything else, uh, works nice and quickly, smoothly. Um, and you know, outside of keyboard shortcuts being a little bit different, there are some user uh, interface differences. Outlook in particular I've seen is actually pretty, pretty different than what I'm accustomed to on the Windows environment. Um, but beyond that, the functionality is all there. The ribbon structure is generally there. Um, and so using OneDrive, right, if you've got Microsoft 365, you can keep all your files in a common location. It's incredibly easy to move back and forth. Uh, I have an iPad as well. It's really easy to make use of that. All of that stuff is all linked and synced. And that's actually been the most surprising thing for me is you know, you used to think of most things in an Apple versus Microsoft sort of dynamic, a PC, Mac situation. And ironically, as we've worked towards these cloud applications um, and the really, you know, untying of ourselves from device specific activities to really having kind of, um, you know, these common accounts that are accessible from a web based perspective, cloud based information, data storage, etc it's really strange how well Microsoft plays within both the PC and Apple ecosystem um, in a way I totally didn't expect, um, but it's been great. So personal vault, that is a, a, you know, a pain point for me. It is obnoxious, but the great thing I'm here, boom, open up an Excel file, you know, write some emails, whatever it may be. If I log off this, if I take my laptop somewhere else, you know, do whatever, come back, boot up my desktop, ready to play a game. All of that stuff, perfectly in sync. No, no discrepancies, no issues. And so there's no pain point between using either system um, and incredibly fluid and seamless. So uh, that's what I wanted to talk through today. Again, hopefully you enjoyed this. And with that, I'm going to wrap it up. So thanks. Hopefully this was helpful for you, a little bit of learning or at least something that you know gave you an insight of what this looks like if you're exploring maybe getting a Mac or maybe you've got a Mac and maybe you're thinking about a PC. Um, if you use Microsoft 365, uh, really easy to, you know, there's other tools, right? Any type of cloud-based storage is going to simplify that process. Um, but I did want to explore Microsoft because it is something that I use very common, you know, office productivity software set as well, obviously the, the standard. Um, and yeah, no major hiccups so far. So thanks. Have a good one.